Hi, dear students. Welcome to Marygree Academic Assist. Hope you are staying healthy and happy. In today's session, we will be looking at one of the most important topics in computer science as well as in your 10th standard syllabus, database development. As this is a new topic, an unfamiliar topic for you, we are not heading to the topic directly. What is the strategy to be followed while we start learning a new topic or a new subject? We will gather some information, right? Information regarding what is it actually, uh, what, why we are learning, why we want to learn this and of course, what is the real time application of this? And the question comes to your mind will definitely be the second one. Why I want to learn this, right? Of course, I have given you the answer. This is a part of your syllabus. Okay, so it is compulsory for you to study. Okay, so just uh, we have already fixed it. Just leave it. Okay, so in today's session, we will be looking at two important topics. First one is file system. A second one is database management system. Okay, file system and database management system. Database management system in short DBMS. Okay, so these are the topics. Then before heading to these two topics. We must know what a database is. That is a core topic. Okay. Actually, what is a database? Just think of it. What is a database? We can have an example. Okay. Uh, I am holding this marker pen over here. Okay. I can uh, keep one more here and I can take it back. So, what actually it is? This acts as a base. Right. I can uh, insert or I can keep it over here or I can store it here in terms of database the terminology is storage okay storing data okay so I can keep I can store data I can take it out I can perform some kind of manipulations okay that is what actually a database is base means a platform a platform on which we can store data okay so just explain this database we just try to reverse the term database base data actually it's not base data you have to connect base and data okay that is base of data right base means it is a terminology used to store something right so base of data storage so database is a terminology which is used to refer to storage of data okay not only storing data uh, we are performing manipulations also okay yeah so database is a place where we store data where we manipulate data okay we'll uh, discuss it in detail okay we can start with file system we can look at file system okay these are the two systems of storing and manipulating data okay file system and database management systems are two ways of storing and manipulating data okay uh, let's discuss in uh, detail uh, we can look at file system first. Okay. What do you mean by file system? A system consisting of files. Actually, what is a file? File is a way to store data. It is a place to store data. It is one of the data storage mechanism. Okay. So in file system, data is stored in an unorganized way. Okay. Before that, we have to look at two uh, terminologies. One is data, other one is information. Okay. What actually uh, these two terms have uh, some differences. Uh, data means data consists of raw facts and figures. Raw means unorganized. Okay. Unorganized facts and figures. And information contains what 
organized facts and figures okay or we can say what processed data is called information data can be termed as input what we are giving to the machine and information can be termed as output okay these are some of the differences but in the concept of database we are considering data and information somewhat same okay we are not uh, finding the difference okay of course data and information are facts and figures may be organized or unorganized okay so here in uh, database concept we are considering both data and information somewhat same okay then let us have some examples uh, to explain file system and database management system okay we can consider school management system okay so software okay here some is school management system actually we are familiar uh, to school management system okay yeah what all functions are there in a school okay uh, you know what all things are uh, done in a school what all things are happening in a school uh, actually uh, we are discussing about data storage and data manipulation mechanisms okay so in school management it will be a big big one okay we are considering only a module a small module related to student okay student management okay when we consider a student or students in which all places your data will be stored we can have five different places okay one is our uh, main office second front office plus store we can consider front office plus uh, store together okay then we have vice principal's office then library then staff room okay these are the five different places where your data is stored okay we can start from uh, main office which all data related to a student or students will be stored there in main office there will be your admission number your class number your name your address your phone number uh, your age plus documents like your identification uh, documents identity documents your date of birth and so on okay all this the entire uh, data related to student will be stored there in the office main office okay but when we come to uh, front office plus store they do not need all your information they may need your basic data your basic data like your admission number your roll number your name your address your phone number okay Uh, somewhat like this when we come to move to uh, the third place vice principal's office they need the basic data plus your academics and non academic data okay then when we move to the third fourth place that is library they have they will have your basic data plus what uh, data regarding issuing and returning books okay and final place is staff room there also uh, there will be data regarding what your basic plus academics and non academics okay can you find any specialty on data in all these places uh, can you can you can you find any uh, common data yes your basic data is repeated in all the places right is there any problem repeating your basic data or is there any problem repeating anything again and again yes of course it consume a lot of memory of course it uh, leads to more uh, cost of course so uh, the computer terminology or another terminology for duplication or repetition is redundancy okay so redundancy so file system leads to redundancy of data that means the same data may be repeated in many different places okay that leads to higher storage and higher access cost okay so that is what redundancy is is there any problem with the redundancy is there any any other problem other than uh, what increasing cost and increasing uh, memory size yes we have another terminology that is redundancy leads to inconsistency okay 
redundancy leads to inconsistency what do you mean by inconsistency invalid data inaccurate data okay what do you mean by inaccurate data how we get inaccurate data let's have an example okay suppose your father has changed his phone number okay of course you will have to inform it to your class teacher you will do it okay and class teacher will definitely uh, modify the phone number okay the old one to what the new one okay that change will be reflected only there in staff room or your class teachers document okay actually we have an sms sending system in our school and sms is sent from the main office okay you what addition in uh, phone number is not reflected there in what main office so they will send messages to your old number will there be any problem of course you will not get messages anymore so what actually want to do is the uh, addition made there in the staff room must be reflected in the other place so here in the case of file system the addition will not be reflected in the other places other than staff room so uh, you may not get uh, important information or important messages uh, messages regarding your registration you meaning meaning the cbsc registration or some other important information okay uh, will not be delivered to your number because it will be sent to your old number okay so that is what the problem with file system is okay uh, we have seen uh, redundancy and inconsistency redundancy means inaccurate data what uh, duplicate data okay and inconsistency means inaccurate or invalid data so these are the problems with file system and we can say this is the conventional method of storing what data or managing data or files okay we can take it as or we can think of it as a computer based system or as a manual system okay you know what a manual system is a uh, uh, system uh, consisting of human resource okay without having any help of uh, machines okay or we can have uh, machines we can have a, what uh, joint okay yeah so in file system we are met what meeting with redundancy and inconsistency problems okay so it can be either manual system or computer based system let's consider computer based file system will there be any problem with computer based file system of course in computer based file system uh, actually we use multiple application softwares application softwares like excel access word and some other softwares to manage the files in an organization or an institution okay for example uh, when we consider the same uh, school management system uh, student module okay uh, teachers are entering their marks in excel okay so at the time of printing your report card we are using which platform of course access the data which are stored your marks okay your marks which are stored in excel should be imported to what access okay and we are taking the print out of your report card from access and your tc suppose you are applying for tc it may be printed from either from what ms word or from access okay so all these applications software should be connected uh, that is the what strategy used in file system but uh, it, these softwares may not be compatible all the time so there will be issues okay so these are the problems with file system we know file system is the conventional data storage method okay uh, problem like redundancy and inconsistency cannot be avoided in the case of file system okay then we are moving to database management system okay actually what is database management system we know the concept of database before that database management system is a pure computer based data storage method okay it is a pure computer based data storage method we using softwares okay yeah so what is a database we have already explained database database is a place where we store data okay database is a place where we store data plus we, we can perform manipulations on data okay we can discuss the topic in detail mm. 
how can we conduct the same software student management system as a database management system or with the help of database management system how actually we are using software right just think of it we will have a central software or a software okay which runs on a machine and that machine can be considered as the server machine okay server machine all other machines are clients okay we will have a set what server machine and number of clients what is a server in no example which one will be the server of course the main office okay the machine which is placed or located at the main office will be the server machine it may be a high-end machine okay uh, where our actual software is installed okay yeah so that is a server machine and all other places front office plus store vice principal's office library and your staff room all are clients okay and we know in the main office they need all the information okay all the information is stored there in main office but in front office plus store they need only basic information actually there in front office there will not be a separate data they are accessing the data which is stored at the main office or at the server machine okay uh, there in all other places places like vice principal they are also using the data uh, stored in main office a library and staff room all of them are using the same data meaning data will be stored only in one place okay and that place is called server which serves the clients and clients are the machines who uses the service from the server okay this is the actual method used in a database management system will there be any redundancy as we have seen in the case of file system no why because data is stored in only one place that is main office and all other place places uh, as clients uses the data stored in the main office okay so there is no problem with redundancy and if there is no redundancy we will not have any inconsistency right why because suppose you're changing uh, your father is changing your phone number his phone number uh, you're making the updation uh, in staff room okay actually your class teacher is making the updation and that updation will be reflected in the main office so there will not be any problem with inconsistency okay plus we can ensure data security also because all the places may not get all the privileges okay there will be hierarchy in accessing data okay main office can access all the data but storage what uh, your front office plus store cannot access all the data okay they can access only the basic information so uh, they may not get access to the important other details okay and in uh, your vice principal's office they can access your basic data plus what your academics and non-academic data okay so this is the way we store and manage or manipulate data in the case of database management system so database management system is a software package which is used for the creation maintenance and use of database okay it's a software package we will uh, look at database management system in detail in the coming classes okay